Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Kishore, and today we are going to continue the static member functions. In last session, I have discussed uh, static data members. Okay, today I am going to continue with static member functions. Generally, static data members means what? They are class members, not the object members. Okay, but they are accessed with the both class and object name. Okay, as usual, to access this static data members. We are using the static member functions. Okay, that means to operate static member functions are especially designed to operate the static data members only. That means they never works on non-static data members. Okay, S static member functions are designed to work with or to operate the static data members. They never operates on non-static data members. Next, there are certain rules for static member functions. One is, one is, they never, they are never associated with uh, this pointer. That means we can't call, we can't call static member functions using the this operator. Okay. Next one, they are associated with uh, both the class name and object name. That means we can call static member function directly with the class name either object name okay next they should not be constant or volatile or okay that is uh, static that means here static me data members static data members are accessed with static member functions no? that is why here the important point is static member functions never can't be okay constant or virtual or volatile okay and uh, it is not required to call with the object name. Now, I will show you how to access the static member functions. Okay. First uh, common header file I was stream.h. Okay. Now, it is for controlling the IO operations. Next, uh, conu.h. It is for CLR, SCR, and get ch. Next. Now, I am going to declare class. Okay. For example, some test. First of all, I am going to give a small example on static member function. Suppose public, okay. Now I am going to give like this class test public. Directly here I am going to write a function like this. Okay. Actually, our concept is what? Not normal member function, static member function. That's why when it is static member function, it should be, it should be okay started with the static keyword that's why here static static void for example read function name is read and here intx comma inty now here read is the member function name and written type is void and it is which kind of function static member function next here i'm going to write like this okay simply i'm going to write if x greater than y okay print f or c out x is big next else if y greater than x c out y is big next else c out both are equal now function closed class also closed and here watch it here there is no static data members in this class i have used only the static member function okay in this class i have used only the static member function that member function name is what read and it is having two arguments x and y later we are finding which one is the big now how to call this uh, static member function already we have discussed static members okay static member functions are accessed with both the class name as well as object name that is why here I am going to give you that see this void main next first of all I want to show you how to access with the class name actually here class name is what test that is why test ok t1 is the object name now test t1 actually t1 is the object name and here Already we have discussed that static member function is accessed with both the class name and 
class name as well as object name. For example, here already object is created now, how to access with object name? Directly you can write like this t1 dot function name is what? Read of and here read is having what? Two arguments that is why send the values like this 10 comma 7 ok. Now, semicolon. When this function is called t1 is what? Object and this object is having read member function. Now, read is going to work and x replaced with 10, y replaced with 7. Now, in this example 10 is passed to x and 7 is passed to y. Later 10 greater than 7 condition true that is why your answer is x is big. Now, the program is going to terminate. It is how to call a static member function by using object. Next already we have discussed we can call the static member function through the class also. Now, I will show you how to call static member function by using the class and here the class name is what test that is why here test ok colon colon means scope operator ok test is the class name and scope operator later function name is what read now read off in brackets I am going to send like this 20 comma 33. Now, read is the member function static member function ok that is why here what happened 20 passed to x and 33 passed to y. Now, what happens 20 greater than 33 condition false. Now, it goes to y greater than x means 33 greater than 20 your condition is true that is why your answer is y is big ok. Now, in this example here the read member function is called with the object name and here the same read function is called with the class name. Whenever you are going to access with the class name it should be separated with what scope operator ok. Next now the answer is what here a is big here b is big ok. For example, this time I am going to send like this test colon colon read of 5 comma 5. Now, what happens x value 5 y value 5 5 and 5 both are equal that is why 5 greater than 5 false 5 greater than 5 false. Now, the answer is both are equal now get ch program close ok and here the most important thing is here we are calling the member function with the class name ok. But actually in C++ the rule is what? to access the member functions we should have to define a object of that class ok. It is for normal member function, but here we are using static member function when it is static member function it will become class member not the object member, but it is accessed with the object name ok. That is why here when it is not non static member function when it is non static member function it should not be called with the class name it should not be called with the class name it will give you error when it is static member function then only this concept is allowed that is why static member functions are accessed with the both the class name as well as object name ok. Now, I am going to show you one more example how to work with the static member functions for example, class sample later here I am going to declare int a comma b. Now, watch here int a comma b are the private data members and they are non static members ok and they are non static members ok. And now, for example, public area void get data ok. In get data I want to access a and b values ok. Now, see out enter two integers next c in a b next c out a equal to a end now here we are entering the a value and b value here we are printing the a value next we are going to print the b value also ok fine and here function closed class also closed. 
Now, there is a simple class called sample and two data members private data members a b and they are non static members ok fine. To access the a b and a b data members we have created one function called get data and here we are entering the values we are printing the values ok fine. Let us see this it is the main function now here I am trying to watch like this means I am going to access the get data member function actually our class name is what sample now sample ok colon colon suppose get a data sample colon colon get a data. Now, the point is get a data is a non static member function get a data is a non static member function, but we are calling the non static member function with the class name. Now, it will give you the error ok this program gives you the error that is why this concept is not allowed because of non static members are directly not accessible with the class ok only the static member functions can be accessed with the class name static members are called with the class name. Now, how to solve this problem you should have to declare the object ok that is why here you should have to declare the object. Now, object created sample yes and later yes dot get data ok. Now, object of this class is yes now object is able to access the non static member now s dot get data means it is going to read the values it is going to print the values. Now, to avoid this problem we should have to make a, a b first of all get data as a static member function. Now, I want to access get data to the object name then what we have to do compulsorily you have to make a static now the member function should be static. Next uh, suppose here get data is a static member function uh, for example, here I want to access with the sample colon colon get to data ok. Actually what happens in this example there is no problem at all because of static members can be accessed with both the class name as well as object name. Now, it is a static member function no doubt at all because of static keyword is added that is why it is accessed with both the object name as well as class name. But uh, once again in this example you are going to get the errors why because here static member functions are designed for what purpose to access the static data members only, but here a and b are what non static members that is why this concept is not allowed because of a static member function is not able to access non static members or non static data members. Now, how to solve once again you have to make a i and t a b also static members. Now, you have to declare i and t a and b also static members then only it is acceptable ok and now there is another rule for static members what it is static data members are having two stages one is what declared another one is what defined and the first rule is what static data member should be declared inside the class that is why declaration completed and second rule is what it should be defined outside the class ok it should be defined outside the class ok that is why here you should have to define this object means this data members using this syntax. Now, what is the syntax first data type ok int next class name sample later data member that is all int sample colon colon a. Now, your compiler recognizes a is a static data member of sample class same to same for b member int sample colon colon b. Now, your compiler recognizes b also a static member of sample class and now this function is working now this function is working without declaring this one or this one or this one it is not able to access this one ok that is why these are the rules for static data members and static member functions ok now get ch program finished ok now 
it is how to access the static data members and static members functions of a class. Okay. Next, I will show you one more error on static member functions. Okay. I will show you one of the error for static member functions. For example, you are going to write static int x. Now, public area and here static okay, void get data of int some a and here you are going to use this arrow mark x equal to a and see out x equal to x. For example, it is a rough example I am giving. Here watch it x is a static data member get to data also static member function. Now, it is going to access the static data x. Okay, But here the point is one rule we have discussed that that is what static data member should not be accessed with uh, this pointer. Already we have discussed uh, every non static member every non static member is having its local variable called this pointer. Okay, But here what it is non static or static uh, static member this one also static that is why static members never having the this pointer that is why here it is giving error. Okay. Now, this program gives error it is the another important rule for static data members. Okay. Thank you, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.